good morning children today we are discussing a new chapter that is chapter number 6 waste management means how we reuse the waste things and how we recycling the usable materials from the waste and converting them into new product that is waste management every time you see a garbage heap you must be wondering where the garbage comes from where does it go most of the garbage that you see around around is created by human beings most of the garbage that you see around is created by human beings means we are responsible to create the garbage heaps every day thousands of tons of waste is thrown out from our households offices factories playgrounds schools etc means every day thousands of tons also thrown from our household offices factories playgrounds schools etc the waste material mainly consist of papers broken glass metals or plastic goods vegetable and fruit peels and leftover food the waste materials mainly cons- consist of papers broken glass metals or plastic goods vegetable and fruit peels and leftover food these are the waste materials comes from the offices factories playgrounds and the household animals like cows buffaloes horses camels and dogs produce waste around us animals like cows buffaloes horses camels and dogs produce waste around us in recent times there has been a steady increase in the amount of garbage due to the increase in population due to the increase in population the amount of garbage also increased day by day population industries widespread use of polythene bags and packaging these are the causes which are responsible to increase the amount of garbage the garbage has become a hazard for human beings animals birds and the environment the garbage which produced from the factories schools playgrounds and from household items these are become a hazard for human beings animals birds and the environment ye sab paryavaran ke liye khatra hai manav aadmi ke liye bhi khatra hai and it pollutes the air the garbage also pollutes the air the water bodies and the land it becomes a breeding ground for germs mosquitoes flies and rats that causes disease like dysentery typhoid cholera plague etc the garbage also pollute the air the water bodies and the land it becomes a breeding ground where the garbage heaps you will find the very foul smell also comes and the place is, the place is suitable for the breeding ground for the germs of a mos- germs mosquitoes flies and the rats which also produce different type of diseases like dysentery typhoid cholera plague it also causes foul smell it also causes foul smell it is important not to throw waste material in open areas like outside our house on the streets roads parks etc 
it is important for each and every person not to throw the waste materials in open areas like outside our house on the streets roads parks etc the two main type of waste materials are there are two main types of waste materials one is biodegradable waste and second is non biodegradable waste number one the biodegradable wastes biodegradable wastes are dry leaves vegetable and fruit peels egg shells papers and leftover food items these are biodegradable wastes the dry leaves vegetable and fruit peels eggs egg shells papers and leftover food items they can be converted into harmless substances by dumping them in a pit if we dig a pit then we also convert into the harmless substance the pit is covered with soil means after fill up the pit by the garbage by this type of garbage then we also covered the pit with soil and converted into compost after some days it also converted into compost in it can be used as manure it can be used as manure means it is used in the field this will reduce the amount of garbage if we apply this method then it is, this will reduce the amount of garbage animals and plant waste can be converted into biogas that is used as a domestic fuel animal and plant waste means the the latrine of the cows and the plant waste it can be converted into biogas that is used as a domestic fuel those who have the biogas they also use the gas as the fuel and also the biogas also helps to lighten the bulbs generally human and animal waste is covered with soil in rural areas in rural areas the human they also go to the open defection and they the cover the soil but this causes health hazard in cities the toilet waste goes to the treatment plants through pipes in cities in big cities and towns also the toilet waste also goes to the treatment plants through pipes the solid waste is separated and the water is used for irrigation the solid waste waste is separated and the water is used for irrigation then we will discuss the non biodegradable waste the non biodegradable waste are nails polythene bags aluminum foil pins glass rubber plastic pieces chemicals and construction waste from buildings bridges roads etc and these are the non biodegradable waste they cannot compost and they they are the non biodegradable waste the these are the nails polythene bags aluminum foil pins glass rubber plastic pieces chemicals and construction waste from buildings bridges roads etc non biodegradable waste cannot be converted into harmless substances non biodegradable waste they cannot be converted into harmless substances but most of it is most of it is recyclable 
means we recycle the things and also use twice but the biodegradable waste they also convert it into compost recycling means separating usable materials from the waste from the waste we also separate the usable materials and converting them into new product that is recycling recycling means separating usable materials from the waste and converting them into new products paper can be recycled to make new print toilet toilet papers etc paper can be recycled to make new print toilet papers etc iron cup iron copper aluminum plastic and glass can also be recycled iron copper aluminum plastic and glass can also be recycled and made into useful items these things after recycling also made it useful items recycling protect the environment in the following ways by recycling this also protect the environment number 1 it reduces the amount of waste if you use if we use the usable materials from the waste then it reduce the amount of waste it conserve our natural resource like timber water iron etc by using the usable materials from the waste and recycling these things then we also conserve our natural resources like timber water iron etc it reduces the pollution because the amount of garbage also reduces if we use the usable materials from the waste the amount of garbage also reduces and it reduces also pollution then it saves also energy it saves energy these are the points after recycling protect the environment in the following ways students the later part of the chapter we will discuss in the next period okay and you please read the chapter thank you have a good day